Hello viewer. If you're on this video, you obviously want to learn label long and you have no idea what you're doing and you need somebody to teach you some basic stuff and that's what I'm trying to do with this. I search on YouTube and all I see is like videos that say label long super combo video, 50 hit combo, super damage. And that's all fine and good, but you got to crawl for you walk. I don't see no videos that demonstrate the basic stuff for Lei Wulong, like the Lei Wulong 101. And so that's what this video is. I'm going to show y'all basically how to do the basic stance transitions between the main stances, um, like snake and crane and all that stuff. And depending on the response this video gets, I might make another one that shows the advanced stuff, like how to do transitions while you're doing combos. But anyway, Let's get started with the basic stuff right here. Um, the first stance is snake. That's usually where everything starts at. And you got a couple ways to get into that. Uh, the first way is to hold back and push two and three. Let's, let's see. Wow, there you go. To cancel that stance, just hold down forward. You can get out of a stance without throwing out a, a, a move that leave you open for an attack. So you got back, two, and three. That'll give you a side step to the right, and you're going to snake. Now if you push forward, two and three, you can go this way. That'll give you a side step to... No, that's that's the right. Okay, I'm mixing up my left and my right. <laughs> I'm retarded right now. Okay, forward, two, and three is to the right when you're facing right and back in two and three gives you the side step to your left practice that a few times if you got your PS3 or Xbox next to your computer you can go along with me and practice it back two and three forward two and three so that's the main ways to get into it this is the way I like to get into it it's a lot easier fewer button presses and that's important when you're playing online with leg because you know your inputs could drop and you'll look stupid I do it if you watch my videos it's always hold down and push forward four. he throws out the low kick and then goes into the snake stance that's the way I always go on the snake you never see me do it these this way maybe if I was offline with a joystick I play with a pad so it's pretty hard to hit these buttons on a pad like that so for me down hold down don't let go of the down button and four which is right kick right to, right to your snake stance okay that's the basic stuff with, to get into snake now in snake you can go to a couple of other stances let's see here If you push two once and hold forward, you go into dragon. That's the key to most of the stance transitions. You always hold a directional button. And once you learn which button to hold, it's, it's easy when you practice it. But one right punch, just tap two once and hold forward while you're doing it. Don't take don't let go of forward and you'll go into dragon. And you can go into other stances. Well, I'll probably leave that for the next video because that is a little more difficult. You have to combo into it, but you can, you know, do your snake combo with three punches and hold forward and go into Panther. Uh uh uh. One, two, three, four. And you're holding forward the whole time you're in Panther. But anyway. That's a little more complicated, I guess, if you're beginning. So we'll stick with the, the basic. One, holding forward goes in a dragon. Now, if you push it, button two, which is right punch two times, and hold forward. No, excuse me, three times. <laughs> three times, you go into a panther. So, one, two, three. Just keep your your finger on the forward button or your hand on the joystick. Press forward. That'll take you in the panther. 
So, one is dragon. Two is dragon. And three is panther. I would consider dragon the number two stance. So let's see what we can do from that. You got a couple things you can do. You can either push, once again, you're holding forward and push two. You go into tiger. From dragon, right punch while holding forward, you're in tiger. It's not so hard, huh? <laughs> let's see. Now we got another one we can do from here. Get back in the dragon. Let's see here. There we go. If you push button three, which is left kick, holding forward, you'll get the low sweep and go into crane. And by the way, I guess I skipped this, but when you go in the snake, the, the go between the stances, you either push down that'll go between most of them to the right when you push down you go to the right when you push up you'll get a side step to the left and go through your stances so we were in dragon doing the low kick while holding forward crane so those are your two main transitions out of dragon either button two right punch to tiger or button three which is left kick to crane. The next stance after dragon for me is usually panther. One of my favorite stances. <laughs> this move right here is bread and butter. People usually fall for that every time. But anyway we're just focusing on stances right now. When you're in panther if you push button three which is your left kick while holding back you're not holding forward this time you're holding back you get the hop in low kick and it goes into Phoenix hold back and push button 3 which is low kick uh, left kick while holding back and you get the Phoenix let's see that's really the only transition you have that's basic out of that stance is the low kick while holding back to Phoenix. So let's move on to Tiger. Tiger is another good stance. I use I use this quite a bit. Um, not really a lot of stances you can get to out of that out of that stance either. But if you do this kick right here, which is button three or left kick, and hold forward you get the crouched snake stance which is you know basically for show because you can't really do a lot of that out of that stance but push your left kick button three while holding forward and you'll crouch and go to the, the sitting snake position that's really the only thing you need out of that stance that's you know basic maybe in another video I'll do some more detail out of it and after your tiger you have crane a lot of lay players don't use this stance a lot that I when I watch them online but I use it all the time probably a little too much out of crane not really a lot you can do either but if you push button 2 you'll get the back elbow which takes you into your back turn stance and I'm not really focusing on that stance in this video this is the bait covering the main stances that's really the only thing you can do out of that stance is button two which is right punch and go in the back turn stance so that's it for you know the main what was that four or five stances that's it transitions there are two more this video is about to cut off so I'll just make a part two and continue with the phoenix and the drunken check y'all in part two <laughs>